Hello everybody. Today we have got the fourth lesson. Our lesson is Stages of Life 2. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to use the phrasal verb break and the ing ed participles to consolidate new vocabulary describing the character of your family members. New vocabulary are adjectives. To describe the character of a person, we usually use different adjectives. In exercise 8 on page 99, you have to look up the meaning of the adjectives and choose the correct one. Try to learn all of them by heart. Time for listening. Listen to two people talking about their friends. Match the people to the character adjectives. Two adjectives do not match. B. Vocabulary. Exercise 10. Page 99. I'm staying at my friend Peter's house this weekend. Peter? that boy who goes red when anyone tries to talk to him? Yes, that's him. He's very shy. He's nothing like the rest of his family, though. What are they like, then? Well, his oldest brother is called Sam. He's the friendliest of them all. He's really outgoing. Then there's Lily. She's not very polite at all. In fact, she can be fairly rude at times. I didn't know he had a sister. I do know that he's got a brother called Paul. Yes, and I thought he was the responsible one of the family until I saw his room. Then I realized that he was the messy one. There were dirty clothes everywhere. Ugh. Has he got any other brothers or sisters? One sister, Emma. She might be the youngest, but she doesn't act like the youngest. She's always telling everyone else what to do. She's the bossy one. So who's left? Mark. He likes a bit of peace and quiet. He worries a lot about school and other things, so he's quite anxious most of the time. I'm not surprised with all those brothers and sisters. Your home task is exercise 12 on page 99. Choose correct particle. Next video will help you. Good luck. 5 Phrasal Verbs with Break from EspressoEnglish.net Today you're going to learn the difference between break in, break out, break down, break up, and break through. Some of these phrasal verbs have multiple meanings. If you want to learn more than 500 phrasal verbs in the context of conversations, join my course, Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. Let's start with break in or break into. When someone enters a house or building illegally, often using force in order to steal something, we say they are breaking in or breaking into the place. For example, having an alarm system discourages people from breaking in. Someone broke into the museum and stole the painting. We can use the noun form break in to talk about the event in which someone illegally enters a house or building. For example, Ever since the break-in last month, I've been afraid to spend the night home alone. We also use the phrasal verb break in when talking about using something new in order to make it more comfortable or familiar to use. For example, when you buy new shoes, the first few days you wear them, you are breaking them in, making the shoes adapt to your feet and getting used to wearing them. Now let's look at break out. We can use this phrasal verb when skin problems appear, especially a rash or pimples, which are small bumps, usually on your face. For example, after he touched the poisonous plant, a rash broke out all over his arms. My teenage daughter doesn't want to take any pictures because she's breaking out. This means she has pimples on her face. We can use the noun form breakout to describe an instance of skin problems. For example, this cream will help clear up breakouts within 24 hours. Breakout can also be used when prisoners forcefully escape from a prison. For example, 
five criminals managed to break out, but they were quickly caught by the police. Informally, we also use break out to refer to making something ready and available to use. For example, we won the championship. Let's break out the champagne. This means let's bring the champagne here and get it ready so we can drink it. Break up. This phrasal verb means to separate into pieces, and it is very commonly used when talking about ending a romantic relationship. For example, Sarah felt like her boyfriend never gave her much attention, so she broke up with him. It's surprising that they would break up so suddenly after a 10 year relationship. We can use the noun form break up to describe an instance of separation. For example, he didn't date for a long time after his last breakup. You might also encounter the expression break up a fight, which is when other people stop a fight and separate the people who are fighting. Let's look at break down. We use this phrasal verb when something mechanical stops functioning. For example, our car broke down when we were an hour outside the city. I hope this old elevator doesn't break down. I'd hate to be stuck inside it. It can also be used when a person suddenly becomes very mentally and emotionally upset. For example, all the stress of my job made me break down and start crying at work. Again, we can use the noun form break down to describe an instance of this action. The machinery has had three breakdowns in the past month. I was a little embarrassed about my breakdown at work. Finally, let's learn breakthrough. This phrasal verb means to make a sudden advancement in progress, especially getting past an obstacle. For example, my therapist suggested a few ways to break through my depression. After a rainy day, the sun finally broke through the clouds in the afternoon. We very commonly encounter this phrasal verb in its noun form, breakthrough. Scientists have made a breakthrough in cancer research. They've found an effective new drug. I thought about the problem for a long time, and I finally had a breakthrough. I realized there was nothing I could do to change the situation, so why worry about it? It can be very hard to remember the meanings of phrasal verbs if you just study lists and definitions. That's why in my lessons I always try to give you real examples of the phrasal verbs used in sentences.